everybody. Um, good to see you. I'm Miss Holly. Um, haven't had a chance to give you a video recording yet for a lesson. Um, I want to do a real quick one today on a really cool use of biotechnology. Um, and it involves these guys, these little uh, golden weave, uh, excuse me, golden orb weave spiders. That's these guys right here. And some of you are going, ew, spiders. I don't want to talk about spiders. Um, these are actually pretty friendly to humans, but they're kind of an aggressive spider to other spiders. Um, and the reason why they're important is because they weave a really fantastic web, and that web includes a drag line, and that's what you see here. This line that goes all the way around the outside of the web is called the drag line. And that drag line is super important because it's really strong, and it turns out that drag line is as tough as um, a piece of steel that's been spun out to the same thickness as that drag line right there. So spider silk is really, really strong and really, really flexible. Um, and that has made it of interest to scientists for a really long time because scientists are interested in using that for uh, things like surgery because it, this would be a natural, flexible, really strong suture that you could use to close an incision uh, during surgery. Um, you could use it to replace ligaments in the body, all kinds of neat things like that. The problem is, how do you get this spider silk that we need? And unfortunately, because these spiders are aggressive to one another, um, it's not a good idea to go ahead and try to do a spider farm operation. So instead, um, what scientists have decided to do is use the genes for this silk production and put it into another animal. And this is the other animal. Let me see if I can move myself down here. Guess not. We'll just uh, do this as is. Um, all right, so this is the animal, uh, goats. Um, it turns out scientists have figured out how they could insert the gene for this spider silk into goats so that when um, the nannies produce milk for the kids once they're born, um, that milk can actually contain this spider silk. So what's really neat about this is the nannies always produce more milk than they need so they can harvest the extra milk. So you can take this spider gene, you can put it into a goat, and then you can actually take the, the protein and isolate it and spin it on one of these cylinders that you see here. Um, and you end up getting a whole bunch of this spider silk that's naturally produced by the goat. It turns out that only four drops of this goat milk from these genetically modified goats will produce up to four yards of silk. So you can actually get a lot of, of spider silk out of these goats. And there's absolutely no health risks to the goats. Um, scientists have been studying these goats for a long time. They've had no problems having babies. They've had no problems feeding their babies. No health risks to themselves. So um, this is just an example of how you can use biotechnology um, sort of to improve an agricultural product and, and make it of use to humans.